Hello and welcome to January the 1st, 2021. It's New Year's Day and you may be wondering why I'm standing outside in minus one and it's snowing too. But it was a bit of a bet from my children. The thing is we decided 2021 was going to be a really good year and we'd started off with a bit of madness. So the madness is me standing outside here in the freezing cold. But hey, there we go. Anyway, I hope you had a good Christmas and a relaxing and a safe and healthy Christmas and are looking forward to 2021 as much as I am and that light at the end of the tunnel. Um, it's been a pretty tough year, but um, I feel very optimistic about the future and that we can move forward and gradually get back to some sense of normality. It was lovely to have the Christmas services at church and it seems at the moment from the restrictions that we are going to be able to continue singing, certainly for the time being, unless things change, although of course the numbers of uh, people suffering from the virus seems to be rising rather alarmingly at the moment. So we need to keep our fingers crossed. I'm looking forward to this weekend because we're going to be celebrating the Epiphany and welcoming friends and singers from our other churches in the parish to our Epiphany service on Sunday evening, uh, to which you are very welcome. There are also online services as normal, which you can find at www.swanageteam. I think that's still right, isn't it? .com, swanageteam.com. Yep, uh, my brain's addled, I think. Um, Good. So, how did you go on with Quick Fire 5, the Christmas Quick Fire 5? That seems a long time ago. I had to look up what I'd asked you. Anyway, I've got it here in front of me. And so, question one was What was the first published carol uh, written by John Rutter, which he wrote at about the age of 18? And of course, the answer is The Shepherd's Pipe Carol. You remember that one with the twiddly organ accompaniment? The Shepherd's Pipe Carol, that's the answer. And that set John on his way. Uh, question number two, how many parts, that's how many sections, was Bach's Christmas Oratorio written in? And the answer is six, six sections, which each one was supposed to be sung on one of the feast days over Christmas. It's an enormous piece, it lasts almost three hours, but if you don't know it, do give it a listen. It's just absolutely amazing. Question three, how many languages was Silent Night translated into? Well, it's very difficult to know exactly, but as a rough estimate, it, it's, it's reckoned that it's been translated into over 140 different languages. Quite amazing, isn't it? Over 140 different languages. Uh, question number four, where did the Festival of Nine Lessons and Carols at King's College, Cambridge originate? And the answer, of course, is Truro Cathedral. That's where it started with the, with the Bishop of Truro, down uh, in Truro Cathedral before moving to uh, Cambridge in the early part of the last century. And the last rather silly question was, how does good King Wenceslas like his pizza? Now you all knew the answer to this. Deep pan, crisp and even. Boom, boom. So there we go, there's the Christmas uh, quick fire five. So moving swiftly on um, to this year's, the first one of this year of 2021. Uh, the first question is, where is the traditional New Year's Day concert held? Every year there's a very famous concert held on the 1st of January. Where's it held? Second question related to that, who wrote the Blue Danube Waltz? Who wrote the Blue Danube Waltz? The third question is also connected. Uh, Bedrick Smetana, the Czech composer, wrote about another famous European river. What's the name of that river? Smetana wrote about, uh, composed about a very famous river. Uh, question number four, slight trick question here, another water related one. Who wrote a piece called The Sea? It might be called something slightly different, but it's called The Sea translation hint and the last question this year uh, our celebrations new year celebrations have been rather muted we haven't seen many fireworks but it made me think of Handel's firework music fantastic music isn't it could you tell me last question for whom was Handel's firework music written and where was it first performed in 1749 yeah. for whom was it written and where was it first performed I had to do a little edit there. 
he won't believe it. We live in the middle of nowhere and uh, behind me there, there's a field. Never ever see anybody. Today, New Year's Day, somebody walks past, two people walk past with some dogs. And I had to retreat while I was, they think I'm mad standing here. Anyway, there we are. Uh, so apologies for that. So now to my music selections, um, and I thought as it was New Year's Day, again, I would uh, be a little bit indulgent, and rather than give you one recommendation, I'm going to give you three short recommendations. This is a lovely period, the period between Christmas and Epiphany. Uh, lots of lovely Christmas carols, lots of wonderful Epiphany-tied music. And I'm going to point you to three short pieces, real favourites of mine, all with an Epiphany theme. The first one is an early work by Herbert Howells, wonderful poem written uh, by Frances Chesterton, who was the wife of G.K. Chesterton. I suppose the most famous thing she wrote was How Far Is It to Bethlehem, which is a bit saccharine, but she also wrote the poem Here Is the Little Door, which Howells set. And it's a very, very powerful setting, um, and it's sort of the antidote to the saccharine feel of How Far Is It to Bethlehem, quite powerful. Um, I've included a text for you and in fact I've put a score in uh, as well so that you can follow it. Um, harmonically it's really interesting and it, it's very very moving piece so you might not know that but I uh, hope you enjoy. I uh, talked to you just before Christmas about uh, Poulenc au Manu Mysterium. Well in the same set of four carols, Christmas carols, is Videnti Stellam by Poulenc which again is breathtakingly beautiful. Short phrases, just absolutely stunning. So I hope you enjoy that. And the third, and again, one of my absolute favorites is Peter Warlock's Bethlehem Down, which you probably do know. It's written as a four part unaccompanied carol. Um, it was also set as a solo song with piano. It works quite well like that, but the unaccompanied version is fantastic. Written in 1927, I think, by Peter Warlock, uh, with a text by his friend, the journalist Bruce Blunt. And what I love, little, little funny story about this, is that uh, Blunt and Warlock wanted to go out one Christmas on a real bender, get blind drunk, I think, um, but they didn't really have much money. Um, so they entered the Daily Telegraph carol competition with this carol, Bethlehem Down, and they won it, and they got enough money to go and get drunk. Great story. Um, true, I believe. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoy that as well. It's, a, it's a, just a stunning, stunning piece. So three lovely carols for you to enjoy. Good, I was thinking, shall I go in? There's a robin on the, on the uh, grass here now. It's very Christmassy. Um, I thought, uh, shall I go in and do some warm-ups? Or shall I stand outside? I'm just getting myself loose and warm. It is still minus one degrees here. Um, <coughs> so I'm going to start off with a couple of sirens. I'm going to shape my feet as well because they're like ice blocks. Good, right? Did you did you do that? Always good. The siren is always good for warming up the voice. Okay, and now I think we'll just do, uh, just gentle R, uh, just sliding, uh, and the next one, uh, uh, And how about ya going? Ya 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 ya. With me? Ya 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 ya. Next one. Ya 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 ya. And the next one. Ya 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 ya. And the next one. Ya 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 ya. 
And the next one, yeah, 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 yeah. And another one, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And one more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, just really simple those three exercises just to get you going. I don't think I can do any more because it's too cold out here. So I think I'm going to go in now. Anyway, just to wish you all, as I did at the beginning, a very happy new year. Um, and I hope to see some of you over this weekend. And I really hope that it's not going to be too long before all our friends who join us for Come and Sing Evensong uh, can come back and sing with us again. We'll keep you posted and as soon as we are allowed to do it again on the first Sunday of the month, we're certainly going to. And I'm already thinking about people that I could line up uh, to lead some of our services. So see you soon. I'm going inside for a hot toddy. Take care.